Hey guys, what is going on? Today we got a brand new video. We are going to be rewiring my uh, LED rear reflectors uh, properly this time, not like last video. So if you guys watched last video but you want to do it properly, this is how we're going to be doing it today. So uh, after the video that we filmed last time, the last video that I uploaded, doing a lot of shop organization, you know, getting some things moved around and all that and just organizing. Filling up the fridge, saving the turtles. How's the fridge? How's the fridge looking in here, boss? Oh, water. Literally hot wheel bag. How many were there? Like 15? <laughs> I mean, this is kind of like, I guess, another how to install your LED reflective video. So, uh, first things first, I gotta tear out the tail light, take the rear bumper off, and we can get started wiring these in properly. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> so like, just hanging out here. So here's what we're here's what we're gonna do. We got both of our things in. This is gonna be a little comp more complicated than what I thought, but this is probably gonna be the best way in case we need to disconnect. Um, so we got two of our things with obviously their own wiring. So I'm gonna be using quick connectors, female and a male, you know, they go inside of each other. And then if I need to take the bumper off or if I need to switch the lights, then I can just go, it's mostly for light switching purposes. But uh, what I'm gonna be doing is when I connect these, I'm gonna solder the ends in because they're really skinny wires and then I'll be putting heat shrink over it. And well, you might be, why would you put heat shrink? Well, I probably won't be taking these out. This is just in case. And this is incredibly easy to reapply. So we're gonna be doing it this way. And then once we've done connecting these, then I have, I did make a cut. So then I have this to color coordinate me coming off the wires. And now I'm gonna put another connection in here, which is gonna be a hard wire. No quick connectors, no nothing. And then uh, this is gonna go up to the tail light. So I'm just dealing with putting these two together. Without further ado, you guys don't wanna watch me wire. You guys get the idea. Okay, so we just soldered up all the ends here. One of my best solders I've ever done. Let's see, I'm showing them off. Oh, again. Mm -hmm. That's on. probably like one of the bad ones. That one's mm -hmm. gross. Look at this, this one's good. Looks natural. Just like that, take that heat shrink. Electrical taper heat shrink. So now in this situation, guys, this is what I'm telling you, is that heat shrink, you can just cut right, you can just cut it right off, unconnect these. If you need to replace them, you're good to go. So. That's why we're doing that. Like I said, this stuff's cheap, easy to replace. It doesn't take as long as doing what I just did, so. It's always safer to do it this way. Like I said, we probably won't be in here. I have faith in these lights that they won't die, but you never know, because I've heard some, you know, negative reviews on these. Just do the same thing all the way around. Red on red, take it, slide it in there like some, like the bees, and it doesn't come out, because that's the power of solder. It's a lot more professional than um, I've ever done. <laughs> I'm gonna continue doing the rest of these and then we'll continue uh, by hardwiring into this once we're done with these two. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Okay guys, so, oh, uh, all my, oh, I'll show you in a second, but all my connections uh, for the bumper are ready. Uh, there is a grommet, you guys won't be able to see from that angle, but there's a grommet on the bottom corner under everything. And I just run every, all my wires from the bumper through there, which then I have my three, cause there's the signal. I have my power, my ground, and I have my signal wire. And so what we're gonna do is for, like I said, kind of quick and easy access. I didn't wanna use um, vampire clips, but we're gonna use vampire clips um, to do this, just in case for some reason I need to pull them apart. Some blue ones, because I already have some vampire clips in here. So what we're gonna do is just like the video uh, that you guys watched on the initial installation is, we have our wires in here. We have the black for negative, the red for the power, and the two oranges on this side, there's only one on that side. Two oranges on this side 
first signal. So we're just gonna vampire connect to those ones. Probably gonna be in the way for most of this, but I think we can kind of get the idea of uh, what we're going after for here. So we're gonna start by grabbing one and we're just gonna go one by one here. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, running light? Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, next step, normally you would, you know, put it together, make it all nice, but the rear bumper is going to be coming off probably next or next weekend. So, when I do that, then I will organize all the wires and I might end up by looming it just to clean it up. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and put this back together so we can be done and I can stop sweating. sweating. Some for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you guys have it. It's all put back together. So obviously it looks the same before, but just proof that it hopefully still works. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, SD card got full of the shop. Sorry, my bad. Uh, you can hear the wind out here. I also have my mic off. Audio's bad. Focus is bad. You guys get the gist of it. I was just about to say, if you guys enjoyed, make sure that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, comment down below. Other than that, guys, whenever this video gets uploaded, or if it gets uploaded, seeing how this week's gonna go, keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.